Hello guys, my name is Biscuit and welcome to my channel. We are checking today's Star Trek Into the Darkness and before jumping into the reaction I would like to say thank you to everyone that watched my previous reaction to Star Trek and understood the idea that for a new viewer and a new member of the Trekkie universe uh, might be a little bit difficult to jump into the original uh, movies but I do hope that I will be finishing these newer ones and new reboot whatever you know what I mean and uh, hopefully you will be sticking around on my adventure discovering the older ones and uh, a lot of comments told me don't worry this uh, just finish this series and after that if you like it and you decide you want to continue you can go to the older ones and you will see so much kind of like difference and easter eggs and you will understand some relationships a little bit better and honestly i'm quite excited for this adventure like i mentioned it before as well in my other video that i was very nervous to start it i had like some previous badish experiences so you know i was a little bit scared to be fair with all of you but while i still got comments this is not star trek or these are not the real movies or this is not the real story and everything like this i didn't have mean comments in regards to me or like you know people were just not like yelling that i did something wrong or anyway stuff like that so it didn't discourage me to continue exploring this universe and i'm really 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 grateful for that i know that it might not sound like a lot but for me it does really mean a lot because i'm doing here my reaction videos and i am honest about them and sometimes i got some backlash in regards with my comments or in regards with my rating or in regards my opinion about certain movies and yeah, it, it, it sometimes is quite difficult to say your honest opinion about things, right? Because people get their feelings hurt about movies and yeah, but we are still gonna do it. So I wanted to say a special thank you to all of you that are understanding and supportive. And even if you don't agree with my opinion, you are human beings and diplomatic about your responses. So I am very grateful for that. Thank you so much. If you choose to become a Patreon and you want to be more involved in the community and choosing the movies and seeing full time, like full time, full length reactions, you can find my Patreon in the description below. And if you want to get to know me, Oh my god. And if you want to get to know me, I stream on Twitch. So drop by, say hi, don't be shy. Good community there as well. Nice, nice people. Now I got my headset, got some water, had a coffee before everyone is asking me, please, how do you speak so fast? I had a coffee exactly before finishing. Like my, 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 my coffee cup is still here. So might be a little bit hype. I don't know how it's gonna kick. And uh, if you guys are ready, I am ready. So let's go. Class M planet. How do we classify the planets though? Like, why why is this a class M? What are the other classes? Okay, this red is so vivid. Dead. Damn it, man! That was our ride. You just stunned our ride. <laughs> They were praying to this object and he decided to steal it from them. <laughs> Prime Directive clearly states there can be no interference with the internal development of alien civilization. <laughs> that would be highly illogical as I am already outfitted in heat resistance. I was kidding. Uh, Their relationship, I'm still amazed by it. I don't know, I never saw this match. Nah, they're not. I'll see you in 90 seconds. I don't think they do. I believe the mission is to destroy the volcano. Seems like it. This is our only chance to save this species. If this volcano erupts, the planet dies. Ah. <sighs> Ooh, freak poop. Surprisingly, alive. Stand by. Uhura, I'm sorry. Spock, we're going Can we not teleport him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm ditching the shuttle. You gotta make it to the Enterprise on your own. Wonderful. I'm ready. Man. I love the colors they pick. They are like the contrast between the red. Go to the beach! Oh, oh no, no! And the yellow of this species is so beautiful. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I would really hate uh, running like this as well, man. I'm not a big fan of cardio. I love the saturation in this movie until now. That's a big engine. He got this, he got this, don't worry. We we can teleport him. Might be too late. We have an open channel, Mr. Spock. The heat's frying as comes, but we still have contact. Yes. I need to beam Spock back to the ship. Give me one way to do <laughs> Spock, nobody knows the rules better than you, but there has got to be an exception. Yeah, find the loophole. Doctor, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Spock, we're talking about your life! Try to get him back online. 90 seconds to detonate. He's doing a self-sacrifice thingy. If Spock were here and I were there, what would he do? Leave. <laughs> He'd let you die. <laughs> Even I know that. He would let. Oh my god, my hair is a mess. Even I know that he would let him go. Because the rules are the rules for a Vulcan. By the way, I've been practicing my salute. Oh, that's majestic. And now the species will think that the, the, the um, paper they were praying to send them their saviors. I wonder how many hours did they stay for the costumes and, you know, all of this stuff. I believe they cannot teleport. Yeah, they did teleport him. I was thinking that they cannot teleport him because they will be teleporting the magma as well. The device they put inside froze. Spock! Nice. Right. Captain, you let them see our ship. Is Commander Spock on board, sir? Safe lands. Girl, she is fine. Successfully detonated. <clears throat> you hear that? Congratulations, Spock. You violated the prime directive. Oh, come on, Spock. They saw us. Big deal. <laughs> 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 Now what? Now what? What's happening? They have someone else to worship. The almighty Enterprise. Star Trek. Into the darkness. This, this, this was supposed to be the intro. 5 a.m. Wake up call. That's a horror movie right there. Hello, doggo, good boy. Okay, London. Okay. You all look very sunny. Having a child sick must be one of the most painful life experiences you can get. I mean, I don't have kids on my own, but I can just imagine. I can save her. What's the price? Nothing comes for free. What's the price? Your soul? What did you say? Your years of life? My daughter. I can save her. For, but... Who are you? Doctor Who! I think. Jim! Come on, let it go. Jim! You're not actually gonna answer that, are you? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, who else are they gonna send out? I can think of numerous possibilities. Find your mission, Spock! Oh, wow. Space. That's this guy is excited to work. how incredible that's gonna be. Here it is. Jim Kirk. Something tells me it won't. <laughs> uh, well, sir, volatile is all relative. Maybe our... Happen to see a starship rising out of their ocean. Coincidence. Is that a derogatory reference? Gentlemen. Point. Spock. I'm expressing multiple attitudes simultaneously, sir. To which are you referring? Out. You're dismissed, Commander. But he has a point. One second. One, 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 one second. He, he has a point there. The you technicality. You have what a pain in the ass you are? Yep. Yep, he knows. I think so, sir. <laughs> we know. Technicalities and loopholes. Oh, so you can't even answer the question. You lied on an official report. <laughs> I ship. gave you my ship because I saw greatness in you. I wouldn't have risked my first officer's life in the first place. 
not alter its destiny. You violated a dozen His eyes are so blue. And almost got everyone under your command killed. Except I didn't. To justify your playing God. He does take some actions that are quite reckless. Would Starfleet regulations mandate be done at this point? They've taken the Enterprise away from you. No! What? He's been in so he's been in the mission. He saved the the, the people. No, I'm not going to listen. Why should I listen? I'm not going to listen. Your every decision I've made. I can't listen. You don't comply with the rules, and you don't respect the chair. Mm. You know why? Because you're not ready for it. I can understand, but sending him back to the academy while his friends are not into the academy might be shitty. So for all of the Marvel fans out there, I am not really a lot of knowledge with Doctor Who, but I think that's him. Okay. It seems to be working. I wonder what's the prize though. There has to be. They must want something from him. He's definitely not very happy. Okay. Now that was one big prize to pay. <laughs> um, pee pee blocked. Better than you think I do. I mean, the first time I found it was in a dive like this. No, it wasn't. You had napkins hanging out of your nose. <laughs> did you not? He did. I think that's your problem right there. They gave her back to me. The Enterprise. The Enterprise. When you're ready, I'm gonna give it back. How about that? Say that. Say. Say it. Congratulations. Watch your back with that first officer, though. Spock's not gonna be working with me. It's been transferred. Where? USS Bradbury. The yeah, Marcus took some convincing. Hmm. He really likes him. What did you tell him? That if anybody deserves a second chance, it's Jim Kirk. Better to keep the talent under supervision than... You know, let them rot in the academy. It's gonna be okay, son. But what one is his Spock? Why are they taking him away from us? I don't like that very much. Suit up. Well, I am familiar with your compulsion to follow the- Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. It's not like he I come from, wanted to. If someone to. saves your life, you don't stab him in the back. Why I went back for you? Commander Spock. Frank Abbott. Because you're his friend. Yes, Captain. I don't think he's very happy with that decision. I'm gonna miss you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bromance <laughs> denied. <laughs> Be seated. That was cute. I love that. For reasons unknown, John Harrison has just declared a one-man war against Starfleet. Earth's perimeter sensors have not detected any warp signatures leaving the system, so we know he can't be far. More search vehicles and landing. He's there in the background. There, there, there. Wow, look at this. What, is he carrying something? It doesn't seem odd to you that he targeted an archive. It's like bombing a, a library. Chris, you got something to say, Kirk? Say it. Tomorrow say it. too late. Say it. Ask about. I'm fine, sir. My apologies. Spit it out, son. Don't be shy. Why the archive? All that information is, is, is public record. If he really wanted to damage Starfleet, this could just be the beginning. The beginning of what, Mr. Kirk? I don't know, something. He's curious, Harrison would commandeer a jump ship without warp capability. Uh, red light, red light, red light! Means danger, danger! So the attack on the archives was just basically a means to gather all of the commanders and the first officer in one room so he can attack them. It's kind of smart. It's like putting all eggs in one basket. You just steal the basket and you got all the eggs. He's sucking stuff? What genius idea does he come up with now? Oh, someone got shot, shoot. <gasps> no! Is she gonna die now? 
Into the building! Into the building! He's gonna be pulled! He's gonna be pulled! So he's getting teleported, so he must be working with someone. It's not a one-man threat, like they were saying in the conference room. He's doing this mind-to-mind -mind thingy that you guys told me in the comment section. Or maybe... I, know, I, I don't know what powers the Vulcans have. I only know that they are stronger than humans and they, they can do this mind-to-mind -mind thingy. That's it until now. Probably Pike was something like a f father figure. There are a lot of like quiet moments in between scenes, which I think it's actually super good for like a reaction. Because I can like say my opinions and no one is yelling. You're talking over dialogue. So that's good. He is asked to see us right away. Okay. He's going to the one place we we just can't go. Wait, which? Where? How? He's on Kronos, sir. Why can we not go on Kronos? Be reinstated and your permission to go after him. Give us a minute. What's up with Kronos? He knows if we even go near Klingon space, it'd be all out war. Starfleet can't go after him, but I can. All right, I don't know. Conquered and occupied two planets that we know of, fired on our ships half a dozen times. Okay. So the Klingons are the bad guys. He's the one who talked to you in the joining Starfleet, wasn't he? Yeah. Did he ever tell you who talked to him in the joining? You're dead? He's dead? I guess. <clears throat> His death is on me. Position, you fire, you kill him, and you haul ass. Permission to reinstate Mr. Spock as my first officer. He's, uh, he's definitely not gonna do what he was uh, told. He's definitely gonna go all in, go crazy ballistic, brings the bazookas out, flamethrowers, and all of the nades in the world on him. It's my duty, your ship's I'm fine, Buzz. The hell you are. Physically, maybe he's fine, but mentally, he's in a revenge mode. I don't know a lot about this. Status Klingon, report, so I'm sorry. Thank you for requesting my reinstatement. You're welcome. <laughs> Reverting to name calling suggests that you are defensive and there. Don't call him robot. Perhaps you should take the requisite time to arrive at this conclusion for yourself. It seems like you are already at war with the Klingons, though. From Science you know. Wallace. I've been assigned to the Enterprise by Admiral Marcus. You requested an additional science officer, Captain. I wish I had Lieutenant Carol Wallace. She's pretty. Advanced weaponry. Ooh. Impressive credentials. Thank you. And she knows her boom booms. Have a seat, Doctor. Shuttle crew. <laughs> She's a weaponry master. So, like again, like I said, I I love these break moments. I do not know anything about the Klingons, and I'm gonna learn everything that I can from this movie. I assume, probably. This is something that I would have known if I would have started with the original ones. Raises yet another point that leads to the bridge. Captain. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Sulu. Yes, sir. Now, I like Sulu. Me, I have a walk to prime. And Just I, make it do you accept time? my resignation or not? I do. No, you do not. We don't give up on Scotty just like that. No. I, do. I mean, I understand he's fueled by, by revenge and he really want to, you know. Yeah, do do Pike justice, but come on, Scott has been a good friend. Do not use those torpedoes. He's not not gonna listen. I'm on a 50 50 that the Enterprise is gonna explode. Your boyfriend second guessing me every chance he gets. I'm sorry, that was inappropriate. I just sometimes want to rip the bangs off his head. <laughs> well, maybe it's the bangs. It's not That's nice. It's not. It might be. Are you guys fighting? Do you want to rip his bangs too? Oh my god, what is that even like? It's the silent treatment. Them it's fighting, it's the silent treatment. I put on a red shirt. No pressure. I kept him. No pressure. You might sweat a little bit, but you got it. Yes, sir. He's going a little bit ballistic on his crew and stuff. I'm not a big fan of it, but um, he has his motives, right? All systems nominal, Captain. Copy that. Warp available at your command. Thank you, Mr. Chekhov. All right, let's ride. Yes, sir. Wait! Wow. Pretty. Channel open, sir. 
Tensions between the Federation and the Klingon Empire have been high. Any provocation could lead to an all-out war. So you have to be sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I feel like the clothing... All right, let's go get this son of a bitch. Kirk out. I feel like the clothing color means like certain uh, duties that they have Captain, to do. I believe you have made the right decision. I was simply attempting to use your vernacular to convey an idea. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Like I noticed that all of the doctors, like Spock and the blonde and Bones, have like blue, blue shirts. I'm aware that I have no right to ask this of you, but please, he cannot know that I'm. <laughs> I, start <laughs> I got startled. Check off. Did you break my ship? Lieutenant, how's your clean up? It's rusty, but it's good. Good, you're coming too. This isn't gonna be a problem, is it? You two working together? Absolutely not. She's pissed. Unclear. Unclear. Just rob a bank when a getaway car is a flat tire. You tell me you have a bunch of real big torpedoes pointed at his head, and if he doesn't play nice, you're not afraid to use them. Is that a problem? Yes. No, sir. I've just never sat in the chair before. You got this, Mr. Sulu. Great. Yeah. I have trust as well. I like Mr. Sulu. I don't know. He just gives me like a nice vibe. Enough of the metaphors, all right? That's an order. With power comes great responsibility. Captain Sulu. Acting Captain Sulu to Shuttle Bay 2. <laughs> Captain Kirk is en route to you now. Got goosebumps. I don't know. This whole preparation thingy. No, sir. Good. So they're gonna be pretending that there are captured and I don't know some some refugees maybe or things. You will fail. Remind me never to piss. Yeah, me. I believed him. <laughs> I'm so I'm so happy for him. If you test me, you will fail. Oh my God! Focus. I'm sorry, Captain. Just two seconds. Okay. Is us. At that volcano, you didn't give a thought to us. What it would do to me if you died, Spock? Where is the popcorn? You didn't the drama. Me. I love the drama. The captain is too. Oh, no, no, no. Don't drag me into this. She is right. Your suggestion that I do not care about dying is incorrect. <laughs> the sentient being's optimal chance at maximizing their utility is a long and prosperous life. Great. Not exactly a love song, Spock. <laughs> <laughs> it is true I chose not to feel anything upon realizing that my own life was ending. Multiplied exponentially on the day my planet was destroyed. Yeah, I remember that. Such a feeling is something I choose never to experience again. Did you switch the mood so fast? Well, I assure you, the truth is precisely the opposite. How can you even be mad at that? He, he, he has a point. He's so logical, like... you. <laughs> You can't be even mad at that, right? Where's the signal? They cut out. I'm working to get them back. Someone is shooting at them. I guess this guy doesn't want to give up. So this ship, the Klingon ship, the D4, can shoot but can't defend themselves. Got it. So just torpedo into them. Damn it. Not the big torpedo. Or they are jamming your scanners and they are more. But I would love to know more about this Klingon, guys. They're ordering us to land. You brought me here because I speak Klingon. Let me speak. Oh, God. I, uh, my, 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 I'm getting nervous. My neck starts to itch. <laughs> All right, all right, we got this, we got this. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Breathe in, breathe out. You got this. And if you interrupt her now, you will not only incur the wrath of the Klingons, but that of Lieutenant Uhura as well. And we saw her mad. We don't want her mad. Je veux la, je veux. Okay, 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 chill, 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 Jim. Jim, Jim. Je ye. Edge dodge me with vindat man. Everyone has like... Wow, that's pretty. The, he looks so cool. Stop, 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 stop. Good 
for you, Lieutenant. But is that Harrison that just saved her? There, 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 there must be something. Something doesn't match up. Maybe this Harrison guy is is against something with the with the the, the Starfleet, but maybe he has his reasons. The Klingons look so interesting with those rings on the forehead and the piercing blue eyes. So that's such a nice design. Man, they, Jim is getting beaten the last two days more than anyone else. Oh, it is him. So yeah, what's what's all of this about? I want to know as well. Oh, well. Okay, he can definitely fight, and he was on the defense team. They said. The torpedoes, the weapons you threatened me with in your message. How many are there? Six. Seventy-two. Oh. <laughs> I was so far off. I surrender. I'm so freaking confused. I need to know. Like, give me the story. Give me his story. Let me know what's happening here. What what, what do you know, Harrison? What, what happened? Christopher Pike, my friend, I accept your surrender. <laughs> He is strong. Like, is he human? This looks like a punching bag. Okay, all right. Oh, okay. I think. Stop. He's letting out the frustration. Okay, you done? Captain. Contact Starfleet. Let them know we have Harrison in custody. And we'll be on our way once the warp core is repaired. Yes, sir. Come on, make peace. I love the tippy toes. I mean, he must be special because even his blood helped the girl. Oh my god, I for Oh, ow. Like, we remember at the beginning of the movie? Captain. His blood helped that little my girl. Malfunction, perhaps in your warp core. I think you'd find my insight valuable, Captain. Yeah, let's listen to him. I want to know. I'm curious. Ignore me and you will get everyone on this ship killed. Turn and let me listen to the story. Come on. I'm so curious I'm dying here on my chair. I legit got myself a concussion with a slap. I would not recommend engaging the prisoner further. Give me a minute. You want to know? Tell me. <laughs> let me explain what's happening here. Yes. You are a criminal. Is he though? I watched you murder innocent men and women. I was authorized to end you. And the only reason why you are still alive is because I am allowing it. So shut your mouth. Oh, Captain, you're gonna punch me again over and over till your arm weakens. Clearly you want to, so tell me. Why did you allow me to live? We all make mistakes. No. Uh. If you did not, then it would be impossible for me to convince you of the truth. Yes, I told you there has to be something. Four, six, one, one. He sounds like a robot. It's not far from Earth. And they're on board your ship, Captain. The torpedoes. I suggest you open one up. The the girl was scanning one. The girl was scanning one torpedo. Do you guys remember? I open a torpedo myself. They're like an oyster looking at me. What? Scotty, it's Kirk. You have little faith. What was the third one? <laughs> I have a feeling you'll know it when you see it. You may have been right about those torpedoes. That's a big thing. You are the one who quit. You made me quit. You did make him quit. Mr. Scott. You did, you, you did make him quit, to be honest. Are you out of your corn-fed mind? <laughs> You're not actually going to listen to this guy. The doctor does have a point, Captain. Don't agree with me, Spock. It makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> Perhaps she could be of some use. The Admiral's daughter. What Admiral's daughter? Carol Marcus. What were you going to tell me that? <laughs> it became relevant. As it just did. Are the torpedoes in the weapons bay? Loaded and ready to fire. What are they? That's when I discovered the torpedoes had disappeared from all official records. Okay. You're much clever than your reputation suggests, Captain Kirk. Your reputation, reputation tells that you are dumb. Christine Chapel. And you like sexy time. Just turn around. Turn around. It's too dangerous. I can open one up there, but I will need 
somehow. Turn around. <sighs> but I accept full responsibility. Doesn't that help us, though? You know, when I dreamt about being stuck on a deserted planet with a gorgeous woman, there was no torpedo. <laughs> I remind you, you are not there to flirt. Are you ready? And rearing. Good luck. What the f... His hand! Transporter cannot differentiate between Dr. McCoy and the torpedo. No, no, no. I'm trying. I'm trying. They, 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 they can't... Get the hell out of here. They can teleport them. They cannot beam them. Dr. McCoy, are you all right? It's people. Why did they put people inside the torpedoes? Seven to two people. What's the reason? Why do we have them? What's happening? Are they good people? This movie gave me more questions than answers. I cannot even think of a reason why I would be put people in torpedoes. USS Vengeance Bridge Crew requesting entry to construction hangar. What are they doing here? Holy shit. Hello? Cliffhanger, hello? We haven't needed to freeze anyone since we developed warp capability, which explains the most interesting thing about our friend here. He's 300 years old. So they're freezing old people? Why is there a man in that torpedo? There are men and women in all those torpedoes, Captain. Who? I put them there. So you're 300 years old too? Who the hell are you? Doctor Who. He's Doctor Who. A remnant of a time long past. Genetically engineered to be superior so as to lead others to peace in a world at war. For centuries we slept. So when did you wake up? A smoke screen to conceal my true identity. My name is He's... Khan. Khan. I saw in the comment section a lot of people told me about this. Ask a 300 year old frozen man. Rat of Khan was a movie because name. I am better. At what? Everything. And then he purposely crippled your ship in enemy space, leading to one. This prick, Marcus! Took my crew from me. You are a murderer! He used my friends to control me. I wanna watch the Rat of Khan now. I'm so curious about him. To smuggle them to safety by concealing them in the very weapons I had designed. He has such a sad story. I had no choice but to escape alone. So I responded in kind. His story is... My crew... Sad. ...is my family. Kirk, is there anything you would not do for your family? Oh, I would bless the planet for my family. We both know who it is. I don't think so. It's not coming at us from Chrono. I understand all the story. I got my answers. I got answers. Security officers on it. Yes, Captain. Captain on the... And it's so sad. Honestly... Ma this might not be the right order to watch, but you can't imagine how much it actually made me want to watch the movie dedicated to Khan. I'm so curious about his story now. Captain Kirk? Shut up, Marcus! Admiral Marcus, I wasn't expecting you. Per Starfleet regulation, I'm planning on returning Khan to Earth to stand trial. He used his name, Khan. So I'm asking you, give him to me. No. So that I can end what I started. No, don't give him to him. And what exactly would you like me to do with the rest of his crew, sir? The 72 p people. Fire them at the Klingons, end 72 lives? Yeah. He put those people in those... Because he was trying to protect them. And now it is our duty to carry out that sentence before anybody else dies because of him. No. One last time, son. Or what, are you gonna kill us? I have your daughter on my ship, prick. Tell me where he is. He's with your He's doctor. He's in engineering, sir. I'll take it from here. Do not drop the shield. <laughs> if we go to warp, we run the risk of seriously damaging the core. Can we do it? Technically, yes. Do it. I would not advise Do it. Captain. Noted. Do it. Mr. Sulu, set course for Earth. I love you. He he might be he might be loving his his flirting and his sexy time, but uh, I think he's a good captain. If 
you think you're safe at warp, you're wrong. I love his voice as well. He's gonna catch up with us, and when he does, the only thing that's gonna stop him destroying this ship is me, so you have to let me talk to him. Carol, yeah. we're at warp. He can't catch up with us. Yes, he can. I'm getting a reading I don't understand. <laughs> Well, maybe it would have been nice if Kirk would have known that he can do that. Travel through warp faster. Now he's shooting at us. Great. We're gonna all die. Amazing. Love that. Love that. I'm sarcastic, by the way. Just in case. And now they kicked us off the warp thingy. Where's the damage? Major hull damage, Captain. The hell? Just tell that his daughter is on the freaking ship. Right now. Stop! Everybody on this ship is going to die if you don't let me speak to him. <laughs> oh! Oh, they stopped shooting! What are you doing on that ship? You made a mistake, and now you're doing everything you can to fix it. This is not the way. Actually, Carol, I won't. Oh, no, 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 no! They're teleporting her! Do we intercept your transport signal? No, sir. No, uh, hug, hug her, go with her, no! Captain Kirk, without authorization and in league with the fugitive John Harrison, you went rogue in enemy territory. If I transmit Khan's location to you now, all that I ask is that you spare them. Please, sir. Come on. I'll do anything you want. Just let them live. You see, guys? A hell of an apology. He's coming but through. consolation, I was never going to spare your crew. This prick! This, of course, is not gonna let them leave. They know too much. But, but Kirk tried. He tried. I'm sorry. Someone in engineering just manually reset our systems. What do you mean, someone? Scotty? The weapons are powered down, sir. Is it Scotty? Enterprise, can you hear me? <laughs> Guess what I found behind Jupiter. <laughs> <laughs> Our options are limited, Captain. We cannot fire and we cannot flee. So what can we do? Ahura, when you get Scotty back, patch him through. The Enterprise and her crew need someone in that chair that knows what he's doing. This is like emotions and, and, and facts at work. It's you, Spock. The, 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 two, the two of them together make the perfect captain. I should stay like this as well with my back because I'm, I'm staying in a shrimp position most of the time. Oh, look at how, how straight his back is. To make you answer for what you did. Exchange for what? Your torpedoes. You said you'd do anything for your crew. I can guarantee their safety. Captain, you can't even guarantee the safety of your own crew. Con cells regenerate like nothing I've ever seen, and I want to know why. I want to know why too. You coming with me or not? He's definitely coming. Um, better take even a chance than none. I'm aligning our ship now. They are trying their best to do something um, with the little power that they do have. Which means never back down, never what? Never give up! Scotty, how are we doing over there? Captain. Captain, the ships are aligned. Copy that. Okay. Scotty, they are trying to get. Give me a minute. They are trying to get access to the other ship by this lock. I'm running. <laughs> That's me. It's okay, I've done it before. Yeah, it was vertical. We jumped onto a. Uh... Poor Scotty. He's doing the cardio of his life. Give me two seconds, right, you mad bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like how he's mirroring him. Are you? Spock. <laughs> yes, Captain. You gotta do what you gotta do. They did say there's quite a lot of debris in between. Sir, Kirk is headed for This is so cool. What are you doing here? We bit of maintenance on the airlock console. Captain, he can't seem to hear you. I'm working on getting his signal back. Stand by. <gasps> shoot, 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 shoot. What is that? A communicator. He got hit! Spock, my display is dead. I'm flying blind. No. Let him go a little bit f fast. 
these two guys have a competition between them. <sighs> okay, they made it. They, 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 they made it, everyone. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Hello. Hello. They'll know we're here. I know the best way to the bridge. Mr. Spock. Hello, Mr. Spock. Live, Mr. Spock. Live long and prosper. <laughs> I'll deal with you in a minute. You should have gone for the nose. Be your daughter. She should have punched you in the nose. In your travels, did you ever encounter a man named Khan? <gasps> <gasps> As you know, I have made a vow never to give you information that could potentially alter your destiny and yours alone. I understand, but you're not fun, Spock. Did you defeat him? At great cost. <sighs> yes. How? I don't mean to tempt you. <laughs> I wouldn't want to piss Khan off, but I'm so curious about his lore. I'm actually so so curious about his lore. You right? <gasps> he disappeared! He disappeared! Shoot. This way. Oh he didn't disappear. I don't think so. I don't think so. Hello. Make sure he stays down. Admiral Marcus, you're under arrest. You're not actually gonna do this, are you? Shoot him in the leg! You better stop and think about what you're doing, Shoot Kirby. him in the leg! You better think about what you did on Kronos. If I'm not in charge, our entire way of life is decimated! Sure! You better kill me! Okay. I'm not gonna kill you, sir. But I could stun your ass and drag you out of that chair. Kill! Well, you might not. <laughs> He just broke her leg, like that. Oh. Is he exploding his head like a watermelon? You should have let me sleep. He just popped his head like a watermelon. I'm going to make this very simple for you. Captain. Your crew for my crew. Spock, don't... Shall I destroy you, Mr. Spock? You tried, we or failed. You give me what I want. We have no transporter capabilities. I will walk over your cold corpses to recover my people. Okay. Hot. Shall we begin? Lower shields. Mm. How about how about we force them to awake in the, the, the people from the torpedo? How about that? And then they will need air as well, and he cannot do that. Vulcans do not lie. But how Vulcans the do? Torpedoes are yours. The torpedoes. Not the people inside the torpedoes. No, no, thank you. I fulfill your terms. Now fulfill mine. No ship should go down without her, Captain. Of course. Where's that here now? But Spock, Spock is smart, and if Spock is smart, he 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 put the, the people out of the torpedoes. What did he put nukes? It's even better. It's even better. Ha! Didn't thought about that. Now, did you? I would have used the people from the torpedoes as a shield. Now the weapons have been knocked out. Spock's cold, but he's not that cold. I've got cons. Okay, well, apparently... Safe and sound in their cryotubes. Apparently, me and Spock kind of combined our plans. But his was still better. Because I only had half plan. I hope you don't get seasick. Do you? Yeah. All <laughs> due respect, Commander. But we're not going anywhere. Aww. Good job, Zulu. I knew I liked him for a reason. I knew that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I mean, the ship is uh, being hit from everywhere. What do you want to restore to it? Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, guys, hold. Jim! Jim, you're not hitting the gym. That's why I don't have muscles. 
Oh, Chekhov. He came in clutch. Grab something, grab something, grab something, grab something. Anything, grab. The housing's a mess line. There's no way we can redirect the power. What can we do? She's gone. No, she's not. Wait, Jim, door is there to stop us from getting irradiated. We'd be dead before we made the climb. A suit, a suit. You're not making the climb. Is there no suit? Okay, I can see how this will play out. Listen, listen. He's gonna get radiation, but then he's gonna be saved by Khan's blood. That I can see happening somehow. We can't lose him, right? Jump on it! This poor sheep been through everything. Look at these fluffy clouds. Mr. Spa, altitude stabilizing. Nice. It's a miracle. No miracle. There is no there such thing. <laughs> Better hurry. What did he do? Say, what did this stupid person do? Open it. The no. The process is not complete. You flood the whole compartment. The door's locked, sir. <clears throat> Stupid human! Say. Out of danger. You saved the crew. Of course he did. And this is not the first time. That's a nice move. Yeah, it was really cool. It is what you I'm want. not crying. I'm scared, Spock. <sighs> but you're not alone. You're not alone. I want you to know why I couldn't let you die. Because we are friends. Because you are my friend. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, he's doing the thing, which I'm still failing at, but I'm getting better. I cannot take it that we lose him. Do we lose him? You remember that the doctor was making those tests with Khan's blood? I, I, I don't, I don't want to believe that we lost him. He's going down with the sheep. He's taking that sheep. At least he's he's gonna take the start fleet quarters down. Sir, there's no way anyone survived. He could. Yes, sir. But he made so much destruction. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> He's one crazy person. One crazy person for sure. He just jumped 30 meters. But it may be possible to beam you down, sir. Go get him. Yeah, go get him. Smash him in the face. Where do you think you're going, you little prick? Vulcans are stronger than, than humans are. I was told in the comment section. But he's not really human, now is he? No, well, definitely not human. He's just jumping through. Don't give up. Come on. You see? I'm not the smartest person out there, but... Give me a quiet two, now. This guy is dressed like the Matrix. You guys spoke? Okay. What? Is he like... What is this? The... The muscle? The... Clado Maestoidian thingy? Oh my god, he wanna pop another watermelon? He transferred the pain to him? With his mind to mind thingy? We need his blood! Go back! You need... You need to take the blood. Most of it, all of it, if possible. Oh. Can you beam someone down? Oh, she's going, she's going. They froze him so they can keep intact his his tissues and organs and all of the other stuff, right? Stun him, stun him! Woo! He 
just broke his hand. He's mad. He's our only chance to save Kirk. He's very mad. Ooh, the uppercut. To do better. <laughs> oh, don't be so melodramatic. You were barely dead. Tell me, are you feeling a uh, homicide? <laughs> How did you catch him? I didn't. Spock did. You saved my life. Now you're Uhura equal. And I had something to do with it too, you know. You saved my life, Captain, and the lives Sorry, of the. Just. Just take it. Take it. Take, 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 just take it. You are welcome, Jim. He called him Jim. To stop them, we risk awakening the same evil within ourselves. Good night. To boldly go where no one has gone before. That's so nice. I love this. I'm so ready for the adventure. It's hard to get out of it once you've had a taste. So <laughs> sure. It does have a nice ring to it. Captain Sulu. As a mission of this duration has never been attempted, I defer to your good judgment. <laughs> nice. Off we go to another adventure. I actually think it was great. I, I, I'm gonna like give you an opinion and maybe some of you might not agree with it. But personally, I think I like this one a little bit more. I, I, I mean, not mandatory the, 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 the story itself. I feel like the, the actors and their roles just became a little bit more comfortable with each other i feel like they just enjoyed being on screen more or i i, I can't really explain to you i just felt like they had more chemistry between them um i love the, the the construction of the bromance i loved khan i'm super excited uh and i after i finish it i'm definitely go and watch uh, revenge of khan that you guys mentioned in the comment section i do hope that that movie will show me more about like these seven to two people being frozen why they were frozen what did they do i mean they said yeah they were criminals yeah i wanna know what they did and you know i would love to see the the fight that old spock mentioned and like all of the other time and like it actually made me so 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 hyped about this and i'm very curious about it so i enjoyed it so like i said i think i did enjoy this a little tiny bit more than the first one because of this reason so i will give it a high just a bit higher it was the other one was a 4.5 star so almost like a five star i will give this one a 4.75 i know that's not really a thing but just close your eyes for this movie okay i can't really give it five because i feel like this movie is putting like high expectation so i don't want to like give it five and then I'll, I'll react maybe to the next one and next one is even better than this one and then you know like i have i have high expectation now but i'm enjoying it very much and i enjoy the story and i enjoy the concept of going on adventures and, and discovering and uh, I'm, I'm curious to see how uh is going on from here on um another thing that I, I i really like was that i feel i feel like they made a lot of throwbacks ah do you remember when i found you in the bar do you remember the the things that you said do you you know what i mean so they kind of like remind you of what happened in the previous movie so again for a new viewer without other star trek experience this is so nice it's so easy to follow along and it's so easy to kind of understand the characters and their meanings and their emotions and why they do what they do and how they think how they think and i, I enjoyed that personally now i hope you like this reaction consider subscribing thank you so much for today i really appreciate your present and i really really appreciate your support don't forget to check the full length reaction on Patreon. Much love to you and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!